But there's one team that is virtually in a league of their own. The Boston Celtics finished the season with a point differential of plus 132 against the top teams in the NBA, which means they weren't just beating really good teams, they were destroying really good teams. And that's why according to the numbers, the Boston Celtics will be the 2022 NBA champions. Just two games. Jimmy was just two games shy of predicting the 2022 NBA champion right before the playoffs even started. Now, if you're not aware or just happen to live underneath a rock, this is Jimmy High Roller, the best NBA content creator on YouTube. And in 2022, he came out with this video, which talks about using purely numbers to find out which team would win the 2022 NBA championship right before the playoffs even started. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, this video has become a yearly tradition because in 2023, Jimmy released the sequel to this video where he once again attempted to predict the NBA champion right before the playoffs and not to my surprise, got the same result as I did, that the Boston Celtics would be the 2023 NBA champions. But as we know, this was wrong as Jimmy Butler and Caleb Martin ripped the heart out of every single Celtics fan left. Well, if there's any Celtics fans left, because I never knew rooting for a sports team could be so stressful. I mean, I've never seen such a good team play this up and down in the playoffs. Nevertheless, I thought to myself, if Jimmy doesn't give this thing another shot this year, then I will. Third win in this series for the Heat in Miami. Now, if you guys are familiar with Jimmy's 2023 NBA champion prediction video, you might have heard of this guy. The JK. This data scientist basically has created the blueprint of what it takes for a team to become an NBA champion, as he has made a machine learning model that predicted three out of the last four NBA champions correctly. But I wanted to take this up a notch, so I expanded on his work and created a machine learning model that not only predicted all the last four NBA champions correctly, but eight out of the last ten NBA champions correctly. With that said, I'm hoping this goes better this time because my head hurts from doing this. For full details of how I created this model and all the results, you can find my article linked in the description. But for now, just like what Jimmy did, let's take a look at some of the most meaningful statistics from my research to find our NBA champion. The main metrics we'll be covering is top three conference, over 600 record, and counter to what Jimmy says, pre-playoff odds have shown significant importance in finding NBA champions. Now, if you had to guess how many NBA champions did not have a top three seeded team entering the playoffs, would you say eight, five, or three? Well, if you answered one, you are correct. Since 1980, there's only been one NBA team to win the title that was not a top three seed. That being the Houston Rockets back in 1995, truly the craziest title run ever. But that said, every NBA team must either have a Kim Olajuwon or a top three seed in order to win the NBA title. So the top three seeds for this NBA season are the Celtics, Knicks, Bucks, Thunder, Nuggets, and Wolves. Now, since 1980, nearly 50% of all NBA champions are ranked first in the league in over 600 record, and 84% of all NBA champions ranked top 5 in the league in this statistic. The 2006 Miami Heat were the only championship team that played like absolute dog water against the best teams in the league, with only an over 600 win percentage of 23%. Despite that, realistically, every NBA champion needs to fall within the top eight in this metric. So for this season, these top eight teams are the Thunder, Bucks, Celtics, Wolves, Nuggets, Pacers, Pelicans, and Kings. Now, something interesting that Jimmy said in his last video on this subject was, and I quote, preseason favorites and Vegas odds provide about zero assistance as they never seem to get it right. Well, in terms of predicting the last five NBA champions, Jimmy is correct as pre-playoff odds from Caesar Sportsbook have been wrong on hitting the NBA champion since 2019. But since 1980, the team that ranked first in pre-playoff odds by Caesar Sportsbook has been the NBA champion 52.3% of the time. 83% of all NBA champions are top three in this statistic. So all this means one or both of these things. First is that Vegas is filled with the best data scientists in the world. And secondly, the NBA landscape is more unpredictable than ever before. With the death of super teams and the new rules on salary cap, predicting future NBA champions is only going to get harder. Now, since 1980, every NBA champion has had pre-playoff odds of at least plus 1800, the bottom dwellers being the 2011 Mavericks and the 1995 Houston Rockets. So the current teams that have odds greater than plus 1800 are the Celtics, Nuggets, Clippers, Bucks, Thunder, 76ers, and Mavericks. Now, just like Jimmy has demonstrated in the past, our true contenders should be all the teams that show up in these three assessments. So the teams that show up are 
the Celtics, Nuggets, Thunder, and Bucks. Okay, this is where it gets tough because these next assessments will reveal the creaks in the armor of these true contenders. Now first, if you were to guess how many NBA champions since 1980 did not have a past MVP, current MVP, or past finals MVP on the roster, what would you say? Five champions? Seven champions? Well, if you said three, that's correct. Since 1980, the only three teams to break this rule is the 1981 Celtics, 89 Pistons, and 04 Pistons. Besides beating the living daylights out of their opponent, these three teams all had a top four defensive rating, were all top three in their conference, and all achieved at least six playoff wins last postseason. Now, Boston actually meets and exceeds the necessary attributes of those non-superstar champions, but OKC does not. So when considering this unique rule at face value, Boston and Oklahoma City break it, with only Denver and Milwaukee having MVP level stars on their team. Now this next metric is a bit unique because it's mine. It's called Team Rating Custom, a historical statistic that measures the overall current strength of the team based on a current player rating formula that scores a player based on their current value over replacement, the amount of MVP shares they've obtained in the last 5 seasons, the SRS of their respective team, the total amount of playoff experience that player has, the total amount of MVP shares that player has, and lastly, how many points per game did that player average this season? Yeah, it's lengthy, but good. Because every NBA champion since 1980 has been top 8 in the league in this metric. So when looking at our true contenders, the Bucks are the only team that ranks outside of the top 8 in the league in this metric. And since this is a 100% championship team requirement, this eliminates the Bucks from contention. So next, as we know, NBA offense is almost broken at this point. With advancements in analytics, player skill, and rule changes, the NBA nowadays is all about buckets, and the efficiency at which someone gets them. What these young bloods have to understand, that this game has always been, and will always be, about buckets. Now, since 1980, not every eventual champion needs to meet this rule, but since 2010, offensive efficiency has never been more important because every champion since then has been top five in the league in offensive effective field goal percentage. And out of our true contenders, the Denver Nuggets actually break this rule, as they are not top five in the league in this metric. So after revealing the holes in our true contenders, the Bucks are the only team that broke 100% championship requirement, leaving us now with the Nuggets, Celtics, and Thunder. Now, the only way to find which exact team can take home this year's NBA championship is to simply do the math. So when analyzing this season's playoff teams through a variety of deep and complex predictive mathematical models using decades and decades of historical data, the Thunder and Nuggets did not show the same consistency as the Celtics. But when running the final numbers with just decimals of a difference, the Denver Nuggets edged the Boston Celtics in the final aggregation. With that said, I believe the Denver Nuggets will be the 2024 NBA champions. They meet about every championship metric. They have an MVP superstar, the experience, and have everything that it takes to become back-to-back -back champions. Now, as we talked about before, numbers are not everything. It's impossible to quantify every variable in existence, from injuries to refs to in-game adjustments, and everything in between, life in its entirety is unpredictable. Overall, if there's anything I've learned from spending many hours on this subject, it's that predicting the NBA champion is very hard. But with that said, I feel super confident that Denver or Boston will walk away as the champions this season. Anyways, I hope we get it right this time. For full prediction results, feel free to check out my article linked in the description. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.